All right, guys, welcome back to Home on the Hitch. Glad to have you here, as always. Today, we're gonna take a look at my new e-bike back there. Yep, finally bit the bullet. Got one, Mel enjoyed her so much. So we chose, for me, the Rattan Sequoia. It's a 26-inch fat tire e-bike, mountain bike style. So we're gonna look at some specs today on it, take the initial ride, see what problems we have, what we love about it, and go from there. So stick around, make sure you like and subscribe. Home on the Hitch. So this is the Rattan Sequoia. It's a 26 inch by four fat tire e-bike. Melissa's bike is a folding e-bike and the wheelbase is just a little short for me. I feel kind of cramped on it. This wheelbase is long enough that uh, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable riding. So yep, big uh, Kenda tires, uh, fast ace hydraulic brakes. We'll talk about them in a minute. Uh, one thing I do like is it has a quick uh, disconnect and connect front axle, so that's pretty nice. Really huge uh, front headlight here that is super, super bright. So up front, it looks like they got a mountain spots already for a basket. You've got an adjustable air fork here. You can lock out or, which is right now, you can see it's not pushing down at all, but if you open that up, you get a whole lot of travel, so. A pretty nice hand grip. I like the wings. I don't know about the, the leatherette here uh, over the, the grip is a little bit slippery. Not sure I like that too much, but it's okay so far. Uh, you got your front brake on the left, rear brake is on the right. Uh, here's your control right here. If you fire that up, we'll see the display if you hold that. And you can set it between sport mode, eco mode, and normal. If you hold the plus and negative, you're going to get all kinds of different options to go through where you can set up a few things, but just be careful. You don't want to mess things up. So, yep, mountain bike style handlebars, which is nice. Uh, once you get the seat adjusted to a good height, then the handlebars kind of make sense. I wish they were a tad higher, but they work, they work pretty well. Uh, something I got to get used to is that the thumb throttle is on the left on this bike and everything I've ever ridden before had it on the right, but it's on the left, which at this point, it's no big deal. We're looking at, we've got 13.7 miles, uh, so far on the bike. And that's after a couple of, uh, our initial ride and a couple of rides after, uh, Shimano eight speed gear. Now I've got to adjust the derailleur, uh, got a Shimano cassette back here and the M40 derailleur. I've got to get that adjusted because it's only getting me down to about halfway through the cassette. It's not going the whole way. So I've got to figure out how to adjust that. So this is the battery right here. That's the battery uh, release. Uh, the battery, the primary battery slips up into the frame. You can charge on this side. On the other side is uh, just the power button. Looks just like this. Uh, or you can take the battery out and charge it outside of the bicycle. Right here, you've got a mount for water bottles, or uh, I actually have a second battery on the way. Cable runs through there, uh, down into uh, where the torque sensor is, where all the electronics are, are housed at, and that's where you hook up that. Then you're gonna have twice the battery range. Kind of looking forward to that. So this seat is not the seat that comes with the bike. If you pay attention to the intro, you'll see uh, the actual seat that comes with it. Uh, this is not that one. Uh, this is a blue end. I ordered this before I even got the bicycle because I knew I wanted a big, wide, comfortable seat. And I'm glad I did because that is a super comfortable seat. Uh, Kickstand in the back there, it's far enough away from the pedals that it doesn't get caught up. So that's pretty cool. Hydraulic brakes in the back as well. 750 watt motor with 1200 watt peak. So that's been pretty good. Uh, seems to carry me around pretty well. Again, it's got a, a Shimano uh, HP cassette. Having a little issue with that, I've got to get the uh, derailleur adjusted because it's only getting me down to about halfway through the cassette. Not that big of a deal right now. 
but this has got a torque sensor in it so it doesn't just apply all the power like a cadence sensor does so the gears actually become pretty important on this bike you have to do a little bit of work with it and i'd like to have the whole range but that's not really a big deal i need to get that adjusted uh, if you look up here it's got steel pedals metal pedals uh with this nice i like the guard around the chain up here so that's not going to come off or get caught on anything on the back you'll notice it's already uh drilled and tapped uh, for a rear rack there uh, or you can put a fender on there if you want i do want to look into getting some fenders if you'll notice there are no fenders anywhere it's already got the uh, screws in place uh, to hold them to get hold them on there uh, but no fenders with it and i'm just afraid if if we're riding when it's wet or or a little muddy or whatever that's going to get uh, up in my face or all over the battery or under the seat or something like that so i would like to look into getting some shorty fenders or something to go on there but it looks like it's already got the hardware and the mounting locations for that so that's good so i'll put all the specs up on the uh, screen here so we don't miss anything as well i'll put a link in the description uh, below so you can go and take a look at the bike for yourself if you're interested a couple different colors a couple of different combinations that you can buy uh, you know with single battery dual battery i think maybe with a basket or with some other accessories included uh, so you can you got some choices there to make with it but all in all i like the look of it uh, the frame is massive all right so let's rewind a little bit back let's take this thing on its maiden voyage uh, see what we can figure out about it see what we've got to fix what we like what we don't like yeah, let's go from there the rattan sequoia all right so this is not going to be a complete and total review on the uh, rattan sequoia but we are going to do a first impression uh, kind of in a residential area so uh, we're limited on what we can do today but we're going to get a quick look at it so if you're paying attention you notice that i changed the seat to this huge uh, comfortable seat and i had already planned on doing that I actually ordered the seat before the bike ever came in uh, so that is way more comfortable for me huge four inch tires let's take this thing on the ride to discover that the keys for these are only to take the battery in and out inside that little area right there is the battery on and off switch we'll hold the power button fires the display up seems to uh default to pedal assist zero when you uh, first turn it up we've got it set on sport mode uh, if you hold the eye there it'll change it to eco and to normal we're going to go back to sport here uh gives us 91 percent on the one battery i've got the second battery uh, is on the way it mounts right there uh, that is coming the brakes are extremely loud and squeaky i think they just need to be broken in that was a big complaint on other reviews that i saw was the brakes are uh, when this thing is new the brakes are hella loud and that was 100 percent true all right so let's see what we can do all right let's take off oh let's set that up to pedal assist five now this thing's got a torque sensor in it which is a little different up the hill than i'm used to now again the only e-bike that i'm used to is melissa's which is a cadence sensor um and pretty much you start pedaling it starts going pretty much at the power level you have set torque sensor is a little different it gives you power based on how much work you're putting in so but if you hit that throttle you have access to all the power this is such a highly traveled road people fly down this road so fast we're just going to scoot down to this neighborhood real quick but yeah let me tell you what the uh the new seat is a lot more comfortable i think i need to tilt it back somewhat though feel like i'm kind of falling forward all right so here we are i'm gonna break Got a little tick there in the front end. I think I need to adjust that front brake caliper. All right, pedal assist one. That's got us at about 8.6. Let me see what throttle does. Can you hear that tick? Yeah, I'll have to look into that. So that gets us up to about 7.98 miles an hour. I'm gonna put it up to pedal assist number two. Uh -huh. You do get the power on that one. 
Listen to the brakes. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but they're pretty loud. Definitely need to lower this seat down or tilt it back or something. Gotta slow that down. All in all, it is a very comfortable ride. We're on pedal assist two right now. Now it's a little different than I'm used to with the gears. On this side over here, it's uh, thumb and finger here instead of the thumb and it being up here, trigger on the top. I guess that's why they had to put the throttle on the left side over here. I have to get used to that. I'm used to the throttle being over here. All right, so we're going up a little bit of a hill and I'm having to kind of pedal since it's only putting in 225 watts. Let's crank that up to pedal assist four, 294. Pedal assist five. All right, so you gotta work a little bit with the, uh... oh goodness, but that's good. Means it's not all the way completely for free. Uh, you can adjust the front shock, you can, or the front fork, you can lock it out. You can also have it super soft. We got it kind of midway right now. Well, there's the brakes. You can hear them there. They stop good, but boy, they sure do squeak. Hydraulic brakes, front and rear. I may have to do a little work on those to, to get them broken in. A little pedaling here. Let's stop and up here and lower this seat. If I lower the seat, it's going to be a little harder to pedal, so I don't know. All in all, super comfortable ride. I'm wondering what that noise is. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Let's go over here. There's a little pull-off area. See if I can stop and, and see what that is. And I gotta look at something too. It says eight speeds up here on the uh, gear shifter, but I think there's only six, actually. It rides good though, I tell you. Ooh, listen to those brakes. We gotta, I think that's just, it's just brakes is what's causing that front noise. But listen, how many? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, there's eight. I was wrong. All right, I'm going to take this down just a hair from where it's at. And we'll see how that does. I don't think that's going to be too much oh yeah so the rattan sequoia love it it's got a big headlight there's no horn i don't see a horn it's got a nice headlight i do like the display i'm gonna go ahead and take that off i have to get used to the throttle being on that side and i need to adjust that brake lever a little forward and i wonder do they sell fenders these are just all initial uh, thoughts and, and everything. It's it's because if you're riding on wet pavement or muddy stuff, your whole back's gonna get destroyed by this back tire flinging stuff up. I know it's a mountain bike, but I would like to have some kind of shorty fender on there to be able to, to deal with some of that. I can't wait to get the extra battery. We'll talk about that when we get it. There's the mail lady. Hey, mail lady definitely different with the cadence sensor uh, something that's important is the kickstand is far enough out of the way that it doesn't hit the pedal so that's awesome oh she's backing in here i guess i better get out of the way all right let's see if changing that did anything all right let's go you know what that actually does feel a little better Happy birthday, Kennedy. Got 2.4 miles on this thing. Tell you what, eh, I don't know if that feels 100% better, but I don't know what to do to break these brakes in. All right, pedal assist. Let's take that down to a four. 
I'm not, I want to be able to pedal just very easy. Doesn't seem like it's derailing. For, it's giving me the. I have to adjust that. Gonna have to adjust the derailleur. It's not great for pedaling, this big wide seat, I don't think, but it kicks in pretty quick. As soon as it fills the torque, it kicks in pretty quick. Like I said, it's a lot different than the cadence sensor. Cadence sensor just kind of turns on to whatever power level you got it set at when you when it senses that you're moving the pedals. Uh, it gets you to a certain point when you're going fast enough, you're just kind of ghost pedaling, but you're not gonna be ghost pedaling on this one. For sure, which is good because I need to lose some weight. You're not going to be ghost pedaling on this one. All in all, initial impressions, very smooth. The brakes work good. They're just loud. But like I said, that was a pretty much a big complaint from a lot of people. I wish there were fenders, but it sure does seem to handle good. All right, let's stop right here and switch this thing into eco mode see what happens all right pedal assist 5 eco mode oh it starts out a lot a lot slower on that the front suspension is working out pretty well though let's hit them squeaky brakes you got to your rear is on the right hand side, the front is on the left. Rear right, front left. I keep wanting to, uh, I keep wanting to grab the gear shifter for the throttle. Oh, it will lock them up. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Let's zoom down through the yard here. So this is a heavy bike. Uh, it's in about 70 something pounds, 77 pounds, I believe. Now that's the bicycle. It's got a cargo. The big thing is it's got a cargo rating of 400 pounds. Uh, so that's 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 pretty impressive now uh, it comes with the one battery i'll put the specs of the battery up on the screen i'm sure we've already talked about that you get the second battery you've got pretty even if you're a big guy like me you've got a pretty big range uh, that you can ride throttle only now if you're kind of doing flat area like this pedaling is not that bad and you know like i said earlier truth Truth be known, we need to be doing some of that. Now I'll tell you, this big seat makes pedaling a little harder, but definitely, definitely doable. It's comfortable for riding. Ugh. I think I may need to bring it back up some, I don't know. Just gotta get used to the handlebar situation. They're mountain, it's a mountain bike, so the handlebars aren't up, you know. I wish the handlebars were a little higher. To be honest with you, oh goodness. All right, so this is a pretty long incline. We're gonna have to come back up. So we'll see how it carries me back up here. All right, so we're gonna go up here and turn around. Let's just turn around right here. And the display lags a little bit, but I don't think that's uncommon for that display, the videos I've watched. But all in all, super impressed with the ride comfort. The ride quality on the Sequoia is really nice. I think it was a good choice. All right, let's throttle up. It's showing 999 plus watts. See how it does going up this hill. I said it's a pretty steady grade. I'm not gonna pedal. 16, 15, 14, 13. And that's where it's going to stop. We made it to the top, so that's not too bad. A little bit of noise coming from the motor, but it's not any noisier than uh, 
Any other? No, I guess we could have come on around that way, huh? Nothing coming, so we're gonna ride down the side of the road here. See what we get speed-wise. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. We could hit 30 easy there, yeah. All right, slow that back down. So that's the first ride, really, um, on the uh, Rattan Sequoia. All right, so what do we think about the Sequoia by Rattan? All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, there are a couple of things like, so number one, the brakes are really squealy uh, when it comes new. I think that's because the pads and the rotors are dirty. I think they, somewhere along the assembly line, they get oil or grease on them. The reason I say that, uh, I went online and looked at a bunch of stuff trying to figure out how to make them stop squealing from baking the pads to sanding the rotors. What I ended up doing was actually spraying the rotors and into the calipers with Dawn Power Wash and just activating the brakes back and forth, rinsing it off with water. And since then, uh, they've been quiet as a mouse until they kind of heat up a little bit. Then they start to make a little noise, but nothing like they were. So I think it is an issue that they just need to be really, really cleaned very well. Now, if it comes back, I'll need to make sure that I don't have a leak of mineral oil onto the pads and the rotors through the hydraulic brakes. But as of right now, they're way quieter than they were. They're not silent, but they're way quieter. So that was the biggest complaint that a lot of people had was the brakes were super noisy, but washing those with Dawn Power Wash seemed to help that a good bit. Now this seat is super comfortable, way more comfortable uh, than the stock seat that was on there, but it's uncomfortable for, pe for pedaling. So if you get it into a position that you can actually pedal this thing, uh it it, it kind of hurts your inner thighs to try to pedal because it's so wide you really kind of have to stand up and and try to do some pedaling if that's what you're going to do it's just not a comfortable seat for really hard pedaling it's super comfortable for riding uh, so i don't know we'll keep messing with the uh, height adjustment and forward and back a little bit to see if we can fine tune it but overall i'm satisfied with the seat it's just not great for pedaling which brings us to the cadence sensor it's a little bit different to get used to because uh, it does not just turn the power on when you start pedaling. It senses the force that you are, the torque sensor senses the force that you're putting down, and it helps a little bit. Uh, it went, you know, it, it's only helping three, 400 watts, and if you're going up a big hill, you're still going to be doing some pedaling. So I really got to get that derailleur, uh, that's another thing, uh, adjusted so I can get the advantage of all the gears because when you're using this thing in pedal assist, uh, one through five, it's not gonna do it for you. You're gonna put in some work and that is a big difference from a cadence sensor. So now you can hit the throttle at any time and get all the power and I had to do that a couple. So there's a big grommet that goes in here. Uh, I noticed when these are pretty stiff cables um, and wires going through here, turning the handlebars kind of worked that grommet out. So I'm gonna need to see if I can put some adhesive around the edges of that grommet and stick it in there and, and get it to stay. I haven't been able to get it to stay in there uh, as of yet. And I did notice a few other people uh, with that some, same complaint. I just don't want this to run through anything or you know actually run through the, the brake line there and, and then have a, a leak of mineral oil. I have no brakes. So I think overall, we made a really good choice with the Rattan Sequoia for me. So if you're in the market for a 26 inch fat tire non-folding e-bike, like I said, 750 watt motor. It's got plenty of power to carry me around to charge it up once. I got about 14, 15 miles on it. Uh, it's still holding about 78% on the battery. So that's really good. We'll be back. Make sure you like and subscribe when we get the second battery. We'll do the video on the install on that and how that goes. Overall, pretty pleased with it. It's not perfect, but uh, it's gonna work out good for me. Make sure you take time to like, subscribe. Until next time, guys, take care of each other, love each other, make every moment count.